Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Good to have you. As always, it is all about icon lists and the lack of them in block themes. Well, certainly in the core list block, you know, lists, unordered lists, ordered lists, numbers, bullets, that kind of thing. Uh, there is a list block and it works perfectly well if you want a, li a list of numbers or a list of bulleted points. To say it's not that customizable is probably a bit of an understatement, but in this mini masterclass, I'm gonna show you how to jazz up your lists, take control of your icons, and all of that with just a bit of CSS. Right, let's get some uh, some nicer looking lists for our block themes. Here's a pretty standard site. It's 2024, and it's got a couple of lists here, and that's all you get out of the box with WordPress Core. However, on 2024 theme, if we go to Pages, and our services page, look at our list. If we get the list selected, the main list, you see we do actually have, when it is a unordered list, we do have this block style. You know about block styles. Card is in the description if you don't. And if you click it, you get this sort of check mark, which is actually really cool. So it's kind of along the sort of lines of what I was complaining about earlier. But remember, this is a theme. This is not built into the WordPress list block as standard. You won't see that on other themes, what have you. And plus there's absolutely no customization that you can do on it. You can't change the icon. You can't change the size of it. You can't change the color of it. So let's fix all of that stuff with this little approach that gets all of that stuff sorted. Let's change that to default and update that. Now I just want to introduce you CSS friends, CSS lovers to the CSS pseudo class called marker and by default the marker pseudo class controls what that little icon can do so let me give you a quick example stay with me hold tight if we just make a new rule here for the lie and we say pseudo that's two colons marker and we use the content param and give that a couple of quotes and you see immediately because I've I'm saying content nothing the bullet points have gone this is where it gets interesting even if we start typing stuff in here now check it out we can actually make it whatever we want are you with me so let's go grab a link here let me just go grab that I'm going to open a new tab and show you this but I mean this is just a random html symbols listings page but there's i mean there's billions of them out there but it kind of lists the unicode the hex the html and the css versions of the kind of, of the symbols and characters that you can use that the browser just knows about all the browsers in all the in all the world so for example if we scroll down and we you know we find something that we kind of like or how about the umbrella and we just copy this code here and come back to our services inspector and rather than our xxx we put in our little umbrella now it's a little small so we can go font size we're only targeting that marker that icon font size you know 20 px bigger 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 what have you so you can see we've got quite a lot of scope here to get fairly creative now we don't want to get necessarily get super creative with this i mean uh if i go grab another link so we can get full on emoji with it. You know, let's take up the hand emoji. Let's uh, put that into our content of our marker. You see what I mean? I mean, it's, you can hold, you know, hold, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. But you can kind of see that, you know, it's only your imagination that is holding you back. But look, let's get, let's get serious. And well, actually, let's not for one second. Let's try lightning, infinity, moon, lightning. Let's copy that. That's this 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 site's quite good because you click on it and it copies it for you. And we'll put our little lightning in. And you kinda you kinda get the gist, but let's let's get let's row back to reality here and let's look at something a bit more sensible, shall we? So on this about page here, you can see something that would probably be a bit more of a normal approach. And so we've got like, you know, included and not included. And we'd have a green tick and a, a red cross, that kind of thing. That I would say is, you know, is a sensible scenario to try and replicate in this uh, in this tutorial. So let us unfortunately remove all our 
nonsense and let's get on with this so what do we need to do well the first thing we need to do is get our child theme sorted out or if it's a custom parent theme use your style.css there i've already got my code editor up here with my child of 2024 if you don't know how to create a child theme for a block theme card is up there link is in the description so let's have a look at what we're doing here so let's go back to our marker and we'll make it we'll, we'll start with a global version of this and then and then we'll add a class and do all that kind of stuff let's start with our lie marker content and we'll just do one two three okay so let's get that copy that rule and let's put that into our style at css and refresh that and we've got our one two three so let us get over back to our HTML symbols and we've got a we've got some nice stuff here. I mean there's tons of these around with more or less different styles and curated versions of. But see, here's our little check mark. Let's get that CSS version of what we want. Go back to our content and let's put our Okay, so we've got that in. And then we can start adding some styles to it. So we'll call it color green. We'll give it a font weight of 900 to make it super fat copy that rule and slam it into our style.css let's refresh our page and we've got everything as it needs to be now what you will notice is that on the lie itself is that we need a bit of space here and unfortunately the marker doesn't have padding the padding attribute doesn't work on on the marker which is a shame, but of course it does work on the lie. So if we just make a padding right on the actual lie itself, padding left, I should say, and we do that as 5px, you see we get a bit of space and we'll up that until we, we're we happy with it. Okay, that's cool. So let's get that in our CSS as well. Let's put that above the marker. If you don't know about scroll behavior, check that card out up there. Okay, so uh, that save that and let's refresh that okay so we're getting somewhere here now up till now we've we have globally set these markers on all the lies across all the lists unordered or ordered across the entire site which is not what we want so what we need to do is actually target the list with a parent class so we can target only what we want to right so back to our editor and so on these lists we're going to put a class open up the advanced and put a See, at the moment it says is style default. Let's put lie green dash check. Let's update that. And if we update our CSS with our new class, then we're only going to be targeting those lie elements where the UL element has the lie green checked class. Let's have a look at that on the front end. Aha, you see our, our left hand, our included had the new class, our not included did not have that and uh, let's just check our uh, we've got a dot there where we shouldn't let's just refresh that and yeah so that's 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 cool so we're getting somewhere now what we want to do is we want to have a class called lie green uh, lie red cross let's make that one now we we'll just copy this up so let's just put a comment here a uh, green tick check and we're just going to copy that and slam it in underneath and we'll call this uh, red cross technically still a check but it's a it's a cross symbol and let's go find and we'll just and we'll just go find our symbols uh, oh there you go there's our oh let's make it a chunky one and we'll just copy this into our content and we'll go red check red check and we get our new class that we have just created or oh, that needs to be red obviously save that get our class copy that into our second list on our editor here and we'll put that additional class in and we'll update that oh by the way the reason we're not seeing this stuff update in real time is because we haven't refreshed this page we'll do that in a sec back to the front end of our site and shazam we do indeed have a way more intuitive presentation to our website users that clearly states the yes the no's the the intention of our items on our lists and all with just a little bit of css 
little bit of CSS goes a long way with block theming. And if you want a bit more block theme action, check out your next tutorial. But until next time, I shall see you later.